Hi, my name is Doug Schaefer, and I'm with True Test, Data Mars True Test now, I guess. So, uh, and going to be doing some segments on different things for our scale systems. And I think the first one we're going to do is selecting a scale system. What do I need to look for? Uh, so basically, we have two types of scale systems. We have a, what we call an alleyway system, which is basically two alleyway bars, a platform on it, uh, hooked up with a scale indicator where you get your weight. It's, uh, it's a very portable, very easy system. Um, you can, easy to move around. What we start with is we have two load bars that do this. And these are, this particular bar is the true test, uh, we call it the MP600 load bar. Uh, it's a 24 inch wide load bar, 4,400 pound capacity. Some of the things we do at true test that's maybe separates us in the field a little bit. When you look at this bar, it's all galvanized and you'll see it's all sealed. There's no open, you can't see what's inside this bar and it's not because we're trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> it's for protection. Uh, this bar is usually in not the most desirable place when you're running cattle across it, so it needs to be well protected and well designed. So we totally seal these bars up. That just adds for longevity of the load cells in the, in the bar. We also put a very heavy cable on them. These are actually very small wires that's in this cable, but they're also vulnerable, uh, usually in a cattle working situation, so we put a very thick coating on them to protect those wires. So really what you do is you, is you start off with two of these load bars, and then I'm just going to show, this is just a cutaway representation of a platform that you might put on them. It's one we offer. It's an aluminum type platform. It's got a rubber mat on it, and it's totally flat. And the reason we do these flat, we have to add extra bracing to do it. But, but cattle travel across these much easier. It's much less stress on the cattle. It's amazing to watch them travel across these versus some of the other platforms that have edges on them because they don't even really know they're on them and they're quiet. So these are designed for the ease of, of actually just getting cattle across the scale. Once you've got that, you've got your bars, you can set this system down about anywhere you want. Uh, you don't have to bolt these load bars down. They have metal feet with rubber coating on them. So if you're setting on concrete, they're not going to slide. So you can actually just set it in your alleyway. You need about an eight foot alleyway section where you can isolate them, put your platform on it and you're ready to go. If you are in a dirt or gravel alley situation, I'm going to recommend that you would put like a two by eight board bolted to the bottom of those feet just to give it more footing and get a little higher off the ground. When an animal stands on this and you get a weight, you know, and that red light comes on, it's a stable weight, okay? These are a live stock scale, so they're for live movement. You can see I'm moving around and that weight's not changing, okay? One of the things we do do that's unique, and it will happen in real life, if you've got an open the gate, let an animal on the scale, Maybe another animal happens to get halfway on the scale with it. You can simply open the gate, back that second animal off, the scale will refigure and, and reweigh you. Okay. The other type of scale system that we would offer would be to go underneath your work chute. It becomes a little more in depth, a little more complicated, uh, and then we're actually turning your whole work chute into a scale when we do that. The nice thing about this system is, is it's compared to the alleyway. In an alleyway system, we're going to weigh an animal, then usually open up and let it into the worksheet and finish what we're doing to it. So it's a two-step process. Where if we have the scales underneath our worksheet, our whole worksheet's a scale, everything's done in one step. So it's a huge time saver. It helps in the flow of cattle. The new load bar we've came out with for our worksheets, uh, it's 11,000 pound capacity bar. Once again, when you look at it, you can see that it's sealed just like the alleyway bar. It's totally protected inside. But what happens in a work chute situation is, is once that work chute's bolted to the bar and your feet are bolted to your concrete, 
then this takes all the stress. When that animal comes into the chute, tries to hit that head gate, it's a lot of stress that comes right down through your load bar, through your load cell. We put a rubber cushion in here to absorb a lot of that shock. And there again, that's designed just to add life to the load cells inside the load bar for longevity. So something unique that we do. Once again, we put the heavy cables on it. Uh, these systems, basically any manual work chute, they can be adapted to. It's a 39 inch wide bar. Uh, some work chutes come from the manufacturer ready-made with brackets to bolt. If they don't, we have adapter brackets that you can put on your chute to put on these bars.